Fall is here. It's time for another garden update, so let's go take a look. Some of the project peppers are just now starting to ripen. You can get a good look at this one. It ripens to orange, which really contrasts nicely with the dark foliage. Next to it are some of the variegated peppers that ripen to red. The F6 Otopinos have quite a few peppers on them now. They start out purple. They're shaped a little bit like a jalapeno, and they ripen to a dark orange or red. I ate one of the purple ones the other day, and the heat was probably about two to 3,000 on the Scoville scale. I've been calling this one Midnight Apricot. The foliage is very dark, and the peppers ripen to a very light orange. Before they fully ripen, they are actually almost white with a very light tint of yellow. Here's a quick look at some of the foliage. This is the variegated version of what I've been calling black cherry. They have tons of peppers that are mostly concentrated on the end of the growing tips. This one has really dark, almost black peppers that ripen to red. And this one here has kind of a purplish color pepper that also ripens to red. I'm not sure if I'll save both of those or not. Some of you might remember that last month in August I pruned this eggplant really heavily and now in September it's got quite a few fruit on it. I've done this before. In the month of August when they look kind of run down and depleted I give them a good pruning and they usually come back really strong in September. It's an easy way to get one more good harvest from your eggplants. Over next to the Buena Mulata peppers, the Bundaberg Rumball tomato is still hanging on and still setting fruit. We've got tiny tomatoes at the top and then quite a few tomatoes on the plant all over. I haven't really taken care of this plant all that well and some of it is laying on the ground but still producing fruit. As you can see there's probably a couple of dozen tomatoes still on the plant, maybe more. I'm glad I planted this one and I plan to grow it again next year. It helped get us through some of those stretches when the other tomatoes weren't producing very well. All of the fall crops that I planted in the grow bags are doing very well and I've been thinning those a little bit at a time as I find time. We've got radishes, spinach, Swiss chard, kohlrabi, snap peas, arugula, lettuce, carrots, and a few other things. Here's the snap peas that I mentioned and they have some little peas on them already. These are sugar and snap peas. One of my favorites. We have two types of lettuce growing. They're crisp mint and May Queen. I planted several other types in another part of the garden. I thought the butterflies and caterpillars were through with our parsley, but it looks like we have one more crop of caterpillars to go before they leave them alone. By the looks of these caterpillars, they'll be gone in a few more days. We're still harvesting lots of peppers. This one is an Aconcagua, as are some of the redder ones here. And then just beyond those are blot peppers. They're a little shorter and a little broader. Both of those are peppers that are worth trying if you haven't tried them yet. Next, I harvested some Guernica peppers that look very much like Jimmy Nardello peppers, except they're quite a bit slower to ripen. We also have quite a few Pippin's Golden Honey Peppers start out purple and gradually change to orange. I don't really care for those. While I was picking things, I went ahead and picked a few Bundaberg Rumball tomatoes. That one's trying to get away from me. Along with those, I picked some candy cane peppers. Here's some of the foliage from those. They're, the variegation is looking a lot better than it did. And the peppers start out green, some of them variegated like this one. And then they gradually change to red when they're fully ripe. And I have a taste test video of those. If you want to see that, I'll put a link down below. The Buena Mulata peppers are very productive. Those start out purple and then change to red. Then I also pick some Jimmy Nardellos. That's my favorite snacking pepper. That's another one that's worth trying if you've never tried one. 
To finish off the pile, I picked a whole bunch of ahi kachucha peppers. I did a taste test video of that pepper, and I'll put a link to that down below in the description. That one plant started out very slow, but it's now three and a half feet tall to about three and a half feet wide. And it's covered with peppers. Early in the week, we were up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But later in the week, we got a cold front that brought in a little rain and much cooler weather, which we were well ready for. All of the hot weather was causing this basil to actually produce flowers. So I just pinched the tips off to keep it going a little bit longer. Before you go, let us know how your garden's doing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.